he knows, uh, as a matter of fact, that look, the governor is a lawyer, a senior lawyer at that, who uh, understands the implication of all of this. And so that's why lots of people also think it's a bit shocking. They, what they see and read, they think, are they sure this is not uh, somewhat overtly exaggerated? But you know, we have extended extension and still do to the Enugu state government to really find out is this true what's going on and so far no uh, breakthrough yet on that one we haven't gotten across to them and they haven't either uh, gotten across to us but you know a lot of people who are following up on this matter uh, one of such is uh, Malaki Gumadu who himself also a uh, human rights activist and also a lawyer Morning and thank you for joining us uh, today, Malik. I mean, yes, you say you, you've been following up on this matter. What can you tell us about it? Well, uh, thank you for having me. Um, I, I think, quite frankly, that this is a very sad and unfortunate development. Um, to the extent that um, we, we thought we had left this this stage where the, the fundamental rights and the privilege and privacy of people have violated with, without with recklessly. Um, however, I, I think that to the extent that um, the governor himself, who is the direct um, person already identified for the perpetration of this violation, has not come out clearly to either repudiate or accept liability in respect of the allegations leveled against it. To that extent, we are bound to follow what we are, uh, you know, reading on the pages of newspaper and uh, the investigation some of few media houses are making. Now, if we were to take the entire story as they are coming out from the media as a the, the gospel truth, then uh, one will clearly tell you that um, there, there is clear case of violation of the fundamental rights of uh, Mrs. Chime. Um, a couple of how fundamental human rights have been have been trampled upon um, recklessly too. I'm talking of her right to to movement, uh, her right to um, you know privacy and so on and so. Um, I, I think that quite frankly, that um, the governor should come out to uh, either, either release, at least release this woman before before the whole thing will, you know, work clearly against him. And I'm happy that my, my former boss is uh, directly in charge of the matter. I'm talking of Mr. Femi Falana, whom I was with uh, just two days ago. Um, first is to look at the, the, the psychological effect of effect of such development, that a grown woman, no less the wife of a sitting governor of a state, will be subjected to this level of deprivation, this level of uh, uh, psychological and traumatic attack, uh, leaves so much to be desired. That is the one. The other is to say that if the governor is not circumspect in his approach to this uh, situation, he will so soon realize that it is not a purely domestic uh, matter. In the sense that um, Mrs. Chime has not ceased to be a Nigerian simply because she is the wife of the governor. Um, on the contrary, her fundamental rights uh, are still very entrenched, uh, notwithstanding that uh, he has a, a governor as a husband. In which case, she can she can approach the court and then uh, and then seek for serious relief, you know. Uh, and I'm I'm sure that the governor cannot plead uh, uh, immunity in that in that respect, uh, uh, because in that case you'll be suing him either in his official capacity or or a nominal party, as the case may be. So. Uh, I, I, I am sure that a lot of Nigerians are scandalized, no less the women folk uh, who have uh, effectively carried their campaign up to the end. One wonders, Malak, I mean, you're familiar uh, with uh, the states, uh, perhaps even uh, Anambra State by extension. I mean, 
have you tried getting across to anyone uh, in government house or any hangers on to actually find out is this true well, uh, I hope I had your credit, but let me, I'm not the lawyer to either party, neither the husband nor the wife. I'm saying my former boss, uh, a, a good comrade, Mr. Uh, Femi Fallon, as you have written Yeah, we, we know that. He is a lawyer to the to the wife. Uh, and I, I said I've had interactions with him. But let me put it there. I, I lived in Enugu for close to seven years. My entire university days was at the University of Nigeria Enugu campus. Uh, understand what is going on, particularly the absolute silence, you know, that you can uh, witness around in from the perspective of even the political atmosphere there. Only a few days ago, uh, there was a concluded local government, so-called local government election, uh, and you could hardly hear anything about them. All that was reported was that uh, it was uh, a total victory for the CDP. Uh, and they return for all of those who were already, uh, you know, uh, handpicked by the, the government. Now, this is also a man who is very reticent. He, he hardly talks to the media. Uh, he, 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 you know, he does very little to, to even make his uh, actions known to the public. That is his time. And uh, whoever is around him is also expected to put on. Um, but, but I tell you, it is already a very huge embarrassment that in spite of the media coverage uh, of what is going on, and to the extent that the public is aware of it, the governor has not come out either to accept or to repudiate liability in, in this regard. And, and I'm, I'm, talking, I'm talking about a society that is uh, uh, already, if you like, demobilized by the antics of the nature of politics that is going on there. Uh, don't forget you had a most brutal person that preceded him. I'm talking of Gretchen Maruki, uh, Namani. I hope he's still senator because I hardly see him on the floor of the house, you know. Uh, uh, he was, at the point, uh, as I understand it, his chief of staff or so, I was in the same team with him. Um, uh, but I think that more fundamentally is the is the legal issues that are, that are already created by this situation. Uh, I think that Nigerians are completely embarrassed uh, not so much because there are no cases of uh, basic violence or that such domestic violence don't occur in high places. It is because we felt we had, you know, passed to this stage where people can presently uh, subject the fundamental rights of their fellow citizens to serious, to serious attacks. But I, I think that the media should also help us uh, a lot more beyond what they are doing now, which is quite commendable. And that is to say, what exactly is the genesis of this? Uh, that, that information must come to the fore. And I think that when it, when it does come to the fore, um, a lot more light will be shed on, on, on the circumstances that uh, this woman, poor woman is facing. But, but he, he cannot escape full legal uh, action. And I can assure you uh, that I'm in touch with uh, those who will do, who will do justice to that. Mm. All right, so uh, uh, thank you very much indeed, uh, Malaki Gumandi, a uh, legal practitioner, speaking to us about this matter.